Hi YouTube, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I'm going to show you a way of multiplying different types of polynomials together, binomials times other binomials more than once. You'll see in this example, we have three binomials multiplying together, trinomials times trinomials. And then I think the last example I'll give you is a binomial times a five uh, term polynomial. So, and we're going to do this all in uh, a method that makes it look easy for you to understand using the Punnett square slash Punnett rectangle. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's start with this first example here. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply these two binomials together. So 4x minus 9 times x plus 2. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to set up a Punnett square here, just like so. And I'm going to put 4x up here, minus 9 here, uh, and then x here, and 2 here. And in each box, we're going to have to multiply each of the terms together. So I'm going to do x times 4x. That's going to give me 4x to the second power, 4x squared. Then do x times negative 9. That's negative 9x. And then do 4x times 2, that's 8x. And then 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. Now the next step would be to combine any like terms. So I have 8x and negative 9x. These two terms are like one another. Uh, so I can combine that to a negative x. So I can write my product as 4x squared minus x minus 18. Now keep in mind that that right there is the product of these two, and we still have to multiply it by x plus 3. Well, we can keep going and we can create a Punnett rectangle. So let me show you what I mean here. So let's draw a rectangle. Okay, like so. And I'm going to put each term of the trinomial here, up top here, so I'll do 4x squared. You could also do this with 3 down and 2 across, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so 4x squared minus x here minus 18 here. And then we're multiplying by x plus 3, so we'll do x and then 3 here. Same concept, we're just going to multiply each term by each term it intersects in each box. So 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. x times negative x is negative x squared. x times negative 18 is negative 18x. Three times 4x squared is 12x squared. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. And then 3 times negative 18 is negative 54. Okay, to finish this problem up, all we have to do is combine our like terms. And as we combine them, I'll cross them out. So we've got 4x cubed is not like anything else. So we'll do 4x cubed. Let me fix that. That's not so great. So 4x cubed. Um, and then we have 12x squared minus x squared, so that's plus 11x squared. And I did mention I'd cross these out, so let's make sure we're crossing them out as we use them. And then negative 3x plus negative 18x is negative 21x. cross these off. And then all we're left with is negative 54 at the end there. And now that we cross this off, we can see that we have our solution to this first example. Okay, in this example, we're going to multiply two trinomials by each other. I'm using the caret symbol here to uh, indicate an exponent. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 3 times x squared plus 5x minus 2. And we can do this by creating a larger 
Punnett type square. So I'm just going to go in here and make a larger room here. And we want three rows across and three columns down, like so. And I'll take this first one, doesn't really matter, x squared minus 2x plus 3. And we're going to multiply it by x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, same principles last time. We're just multiplying each um, you know, term as they intersect in each box. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times minus 2x is minus 2x cubed. x squared times 3 is 3x squared. x squared times 5x is 5x cubed. Uh, 5x times negative 2x is negative 10x squared. And 5x times 3 is 15x. Let's move down to the bottom row. So negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2x is positive 4x. And then negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. Okay, so to finish this off, we just need to combine like terms. So I'm going to have x to the fourth. That's not like anything else. And we'll cross these off as we go. And then you have 5x cubed plus negative 2x cubed. That's going to give you 3x cubed. So plus 3x cubed. Okay. And then we look, we have negative 2x squared plus negative 10x squared plus 3x squared. So that's going to be negative uh, 9x squared. So minus 9x squared. And we'll cross all three of these off. And then we have 4x plus 15x, that's 19x, so plus 19x. Cross that off. And then we've got minus 6 here at the end. And we'll cross that off. And there we go. We've got our solution to example Two. Okay, in this last example, we're going to multiply the binomial x squared minus 4 by this five-term uh, polynomial x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x minus 1. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a big Punnett rectangle here. It's going to have, let's give it two rows across. And then one, two three, four, five columns down. So I'm going to put the binomial, uh, each term of the binomial for the rows, so x squared minus 4. And then we'll put the five terms up here. So x to the fourth uh, minus 3x cubed two x squared Nine x and then minus one, and we're just going to multiply across. Uh, so x squared times x to the fourth is x to the sixth. X squared times minus three x cubed is minus three x to the fifth. We add the exponents. Remember, x squared times two x squared is two x to the fourth. x squared times 9x is 9x cubed. And x squared times negative 1 is minus x squared. Okay, on the bottom here we have negative 4 times x to the fourth. So that's negative 
x to the fourth. Then we have negative four times negative three x cubed, that's 12 x cubed. Then negative four times two x squared is negative eight x squared. Then negative four times nine x is negative 36 x. And then negative four times negative one is positive four. Okay, so now we have to combine like terms. We only have one x to the sixth, so I'm gonna bring it down right here and write x to the sixth. Okay, and we'll cross off as we go, just like in the pre prior problems. And then we have negative four x to the fourth here. We have a negative three x to the fifth here. I don't see any other negative three x to the fifth, so let's go with that one first. So negative three x to the fifth. And we'll cross that one off. Okay, then we have negative 4x to the fourth and 2x to the fourth. Those are going to add to negative 2x to the fourth. We'll cross those off. Next up, we have 12x cubed plus 9x cubed. That's 21x cubed. So plus 21x cubed. And we'll cross those off. And then we have negative 8x squared plus negative x squared. That's a negative 9x squared. Cross those off. Next up, negative 36x. Cross that off. And then plus four at the end. Okay, and now that we've crossed everything off, we know we have our solution, which is this uh, polynomial right here. Hopefully this video was helpful and showed you another way to organize multiplying uh, polynomials with multiple terms together and make it easy for you. Uh, if this did help you, please like and subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.